Okay, so the water has cleared up in the tank and we can now actually see the rock work that we've done. Again, the intent was to create a wall effect here in the center, uh, a cave, minus its cap at the moment, on the uh, left side, and just a slope here on the right-hand side, and with some space out front. And you can see the variety of different types of gravel in the live sand. You can also see there's a yellow tint to the water, but that's easily cleared up with some activated carbon. And everything seems to have settled down. Our protein skimmer is actually producing some organics. And it took uh, about a week for the skimmer to break in, but it's no longer releasing all those champagne bubbles. Certainly there are some bubbles, but nothing that creates uh, the champagne bubble situation. So our task today is to take and drain 100% of the old water and replenishing the tank with 100% new real ocean water. So the old dirty water that was made with synthetic sea salt and faucet water, carbon filtered faucet water, um, was used to basically cycle the tank and we're now going to discard that water and whatever levels of organics that we've built up so far. Now there's an old saying and it goes something like too many cooks spoil the stew. The point of this little story is I've been relying on the customer with his test kits testing the ammonias and nitrites which is how you determine the cycle or, or plot the progress of the biological cycle occurring within the tank. As it turns out his nitrite test kit must be old or have old reagents was not giving us a clear or appropriate or true reading. What we found out today is that he still has nitrite in the system. Now here's where a business issue comes into play. Since the cycle has not completed itself, do we not proceed with the 100 gallon water, 100% water change? Or we've got 100 gallons of seawater, real ocean water, already loaded in the van, waiting outside, simply to be pumped back into the system. We have to make a decision here as to which direction we're going to go. There's the two tests for the same thing side by side. That's yeah. nitrite. And here's nitrate. And nitrate typically would be... The idea with the 100% water change would be able to be eliminating that amount of nitrate, which is now the result of the simply the biological cycle. We would be able to eliminate 100% of that and start over at square one, zero nitrate. So I'll go ahead and give the aquarium owner the opportunity to decide if he wants to shortchange himself on the biological cycle and take advantage of the fact that that seawater is now in the van waiting to be put into the tank or hold off for another two weeks to do the water change and deal with his desire to move forward. With the excitement of being able to move forward on his coral reef tank, the hobbyist has decided to go ahead and do the 100% water change. With that in mind, I've gone ahead in advance and cleaned the inside of the tank. I'm also now going through and fanning the individual rocks because I do believe the tank does not have enough water flow in it and that debris that's simply settling down on top of the rocks, what you can see that I'm stirred up now, could and would eventually become an algae issue. 
And so with the system stirred up and the algae on the glass cleaned, we're ready to shut down the system to do the big 100% water change. Okay, we uh, have the sump pump and the hose, and we're going to pump out 100% of that old dirty water out of the tank. So in this case, the faucet water that we used to make the synthetic sea salt was used only for cycling the aquarium. We're now pumping that synthetic seawater out of the system. We'll be replenishing it with real ocean water. This way we're getting rid of all the organics and the nutrients that occur during the cycle. And now that the cycle has completed itself, which only took about a week and a half, we can now discard all of that nutrient-rich rich water and start off clean and fresh. Now that we've got the old water pumped out of the tank, we'll need to go ahead and reverse the hose and use the pump in the container out in the van to pump the water back into the tank. So be sure to come on back for part five as we pump that real ocean water back into the 100 gallon coral reef tank. <laughs> 